TV, live broadcasting. Change something about yourself, visible for the other person. amazing uh, learned a lot uh, especially from the experience uh, in Stockholm if we want to make this sport better and more popular we need to keep learning from each other I think we created a international softball friendship you guys missed a lot you missed fun, you missed softball, and fun again. So be here next year. See you after the commercial break. It's time for Super 6 Softball. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and a good, pleasant afternoon to you, wherever you might be watching us from. Welcome to Sport Park Pioneers in Hofdorp, the Kingdom of the Netherlands, for another game of the Super 6 Tournament. This is game number 10, and it will feature Team Italy in a matchup against Russia. You're looking at the Italian sign uh, side who are huddled in front of their dugout. The pregame ceremony should start in a couple of moments. There has been a slight delay, but the ground screw has been doing a terrific job getting the field ready on time, what with cleaning the diamond and uh, making the lines, even spraying the diamond with some water to reduce dustiness. So a big thank you going out to the local organizers at the Hopdorp Pioneers Club in the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Another classic European matchup slated to start in a couple of moments. The Russians at this tournament so far have lost to the Netherlands, the home team. That was on Tuesday. Uh, they lost in five innings by a score of 13 to 1. Then on Wednesday morning, they dropped one uh, to the Czech Republic by a score of 4-5. to five. This morning, Team Russia defeated Greece by a score of 7-2, to two, which means this will be their fourth game of the tournament. They have two more to go. They're scheduled to play Great Britain tomorrow at 1 o'clock, and then the playoff game on Saturday. Looking at the results for Team Italy, uh, they dropped the opening game of the tournament to the Czech Republic by a score of two to three. Then on Wednesday, they beat Great Britain six nothing. And then on Wednesday evening, uh, they defeated the home team from the Netherlands in one extra inning by a score of four to three. So a big win for the Italian side. They're scheduled to play Russia now in this game. They have one more game tomorrow against Greece. The pregame conference at the home plate already well underway. Managers of both teams have shook hands and left the area around home plate go rejoin their teams. This is the head coach for Team Russia, who will be the visiting team for this game, which means that they will be lining up first now as the local announcer already announced the first name. That's Daria Semenova, the center fielder. Second base, Tatiana Zhukova, then it's Belkikova, Yegazarova, Yakovleva, Gusakova, Varekina, Maslova, Stepanian, and Islamova, with uh, Yulia Maslova, player number seven. 
give him the start in the pitcher circle for this game. Pitching for Italy is going to be Greta Cicchetti, number 18. Looking at the Italian lineup, not many changes there. The usual suspects will be playing for Team Italy in this game. And uh, the announcer just announced Yulia Maslova, player number seven, the pitcher. I think she pitched this morning against Greece. She pitched four and two thirds through 82 pitches but I'm pretty sure she's still got something left in the tank for this game. Team Russia defeated Greece by a score of seven to two. It's quite an exciting ball game. The Greek side loaded the bases in the bottom of seventh. But Maslova, I think, eventually induced the game ending ground out. The last battle for Greek side was Painos who grounded out the third. And that was it for the Greek side. And this is player number two, Chiara Bassi, who will be playing second. Number A, that's Elisa Princic, the left fielder. Number 15, Elena Chiesa, or Chiesa will be catching Cecchetti. That is Greta Cicchetti, the Italian hurler. She took the loss against the Czech Republic on Tuesday. Uh, she's got an ERA of 1.24. She's pitched five and two thirds, al allowing three runs. One of them earned on nine hits. She struck out nine. The opposing batting average was 360. But we'll get back to the stats after we've heard the national anthems starting with the Russian Federation.
Ladies and gentlemen, we've heard the Kosudarstevny Gimn Rossiskoy Federatsi, or the state, an state anthem of the Russian Federation, and also Il Canto degli Italiani, which is the national anthem of Italy, and we'll be ready to start game number 10 of the 2018 Super Six tournament between the Russian Federation and uh, Italy. Let me introduce the umpires for this game, making the calls. Behind the dish will be Bob Piskins, umpiring at first Thomas Loner, and at third Arian De Wever. If we're looking at the starting defensive lineup of Team Italy, it's Cicchetti to Chiesa, Pian Castelli playing first, Bassi second, Longhi playing third, Gasparotto shortstop, Elisa Princic in left field, Laura Vigna in center, and Marone in right field. The designated player for Team Italy is Alessandra Rotondo. This is player number 20, Erika Piancastelli will be playing first. She, I believe, hit, she has hit the only home run of this tournament so far, unless I missed something. It was yesterday, a long shot into left field over the fence. Now, Greta Cecchetti wearing a face guard is taking her warm-up pitches. The first three batters for Russia are gonna be Daria Semenova, Tatiana Zhukova, and Tatiana Beltikova. And they will face the hard-throwing Italian, player number 11, Greta Cecchetti. She has won the European Championship at least once. As far as I remember, in 2015, she led her team to gold medals in Rosmalen, the Kingdom of the Netherlands, defeating the home team in the finals by a score of two to one, I think, as Italians took gold three years ago. And we'll be ready to see the first pitch in a couple of moments. Leading things off will be Daria Semenova. We before this morning's game was batting 143. That is one for seven. Batting left-handed. She's getting the sign from her coach. And she'll be ready to see the first pitch from Greta Cicchetti. Here it comes in the zone for a cold strike one. Owen won the count on the Russian leadoff batter. And Cicchetti with the pitch. Drop ball swung on and missed. Strike two. Owen to the count. Cicchetti gets ahead in the count early on in the first bat of the game. And a nice pitch that missed outside. One and two. And the rise ball is fouled away. Semenova was batting three for five this morning against Greece. She stole a base. Count on her one and two. And that's hit foul. Caught, caught quickly by the catcher. He applies the tag, but that ball was caught in foul territory. One ball and two strikes. Daria Semenova in the batter's box. And a great changeup sitting on the outside corner as Semenova goes down looking. Next up, Tatiana Zhukova, the second baseman. She was batting three for five after two days of play at this tournament. This morning she went two for four with a double also had a sack bunt. 
And time is called as the right fielder is running into the, the dugout. I guess he's going there to fetch her sunglasses. I think there is some sunshine at this moment. It's been overcast since this morning, but uh, the clouds seem to be breaking up a bit. It's not as windy as it was yesterday or the day before, which it made things a bit easier for fielders. And uh, it seems that the right fielder Fabrizia Marone just got her sunscreen or sun cap. And we are ready to resume as Zhukova fouls one away. 0-1. gets the sign and the pitch and that one missed inside one and one and Greta Cecchetti ready with the one one offering a nice pitch in the lower part of the zone swung on and missed by Shukova one and two Two delivery, and that one is sitting on the outside corner again. And Zhukova goes down looking. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to open the game for Greta Cicchetti. That will bring him number five, Tatiana Belchukova, who was batting two for six before this morning's game against Greece, in which she batted two for four. She scored a run. She had an RBI. One of her hits was a triple. She stole a base. She had a sack bunt. She struck out twice. And swing and a miss for strike one. Nice drop ball outside. Owen won the count. And that one's hit up the middle. Picked up at short. By... Marta Gasparotto and the throw to first to Pian Castelli for out number three. So two strikeouts and a ground out for Team Russia in the top of first. And we'll be going to the bottom of the first inning as the Russians are now running onto the diamond to take their positions. As I said, getting the start for Team Russia is Yulia Maslova, number seven, catching her, Virginia Gusakova, playing first, Yana Islamova, second, Tatiana Zhukova, third, Narin Stepanian, the shortstop, Polina Varaikina, and the outfield from left to right, Tatiana Botikova, Daria Semenova, and Yevgenia Yegazarova. Designated player for the Russian side is number 17, Olga Yakovleva. This was the third baseman, Narin Stepanian. Also seen her playing shortstop. She's got a pretty good arm. And that's Moslova wearing a tooth guard, catching her, Virginia Kusakova. The first three batters. For Team Italy are going to be Laura Vigna, Fabrizia Marone, and Erika Piancastelli. And looking into the stats, I have to correct what I said. There's been another home run in this tournament. That was Daria Semenova, but I believe that was an inside the park homer. And Erika Piancastelli actually hit one out of the park. I did the measurements, uh, the fences are 76 meters away from home plate. A very, very deep field here. Yet, Pian Castelli still managed to drive one out of the park. There she is standing in the door of the dugout. And we are ready to start the bottom part of the first inning with Laura Vigna, who's been batting two for seven. 
She hit a double and a triple. Struck out once. An on base percentage of .545. And the first pitch from Maslova misses outside. That one gets a nibble of the zone outside, one and one. As I said, Maslova has already thrown about 80 pitches today, so we'll see how long she manage, manages to stay in the game. Now Vinya takes a step towards the pitcher but lays off of that high pitch. Two and one the count on the Italian leadoff batter. Swing and a miss on that curve in the zone. Two and two. And Maslova ready with the 2-2 two -two offering. And that hit Vigna on her hand or wrist as she fell down. And now the Italian coach is gonna talk to the umpire. I think the call was foul ball. And I don't think it got the bat, it got the hands. It seems quite painful as the Italian doctor or Physiotherapy guy is applying some ice spray. Hopefully, Laura Vigna will be able to stay in the game. The umpires are now huddled up not far from first base and they're talking about the situation and now Bob Fiskins is walking towards home plate. And the call is foul ball. So Laura Vigna is going to stay in the batter's box to count on her two and two. And uh, members of Italian staff still tending to her, just making sure that her wrist is not broken or anything. Now she's walking into the dugout. So we'll see if Team Italy are going to be forced to bring in a pinch hitter. So that will be it for Laura Vigna. She's taken out of the game. I guess they might even take her to an ER. She has to have a hand x-ray just to make sure that she's okay. So pinch hitting with the count two and two. Number 10, Susanna Soldi. Tough job for the Italian batter coming in with two balls and two strikes. Maslova with the pitch. Good curve going back towards the batter. He gets the ball call, so the count full, three and two now on the Italian pinch hitter. Susanna Soldi, Maslova with the offering. Swing and a miss. Soldi goes down swinging, not an easy job for her coming in with the count two and two. We'll keep you updated on uh, how Laura Vigna is doing. Next up with one down, number four, Fabrizia Marone. She's batting two for five. Scored a run, struck out twice. And she swings at the very first pitch. Strike one. And Yulia Maslova ready with the 0-1 delivery. They go outside, one and one. 
Vasilova. Before today, she pitched six and one third. An ERA of 6.63, which I believe has improved after her relief appearance today. That one missed outside as the count now is two and one. Another pitch outside, three and one. Hit a scout now for Fabrizia Marone. And another pitch outside, and that's a walk given up to the Italian right fielder, and that will bring up number 20, the first baseman, Erika Piancastelli, who's batting two for eight with a home run and four runs batted in. She walked twice, once it was a regular walk, she is hit by pitch as well, struck out twice, stole a base. First pitch to her curve going outside for a ball, one and oh. And Maslova is ready with the pitch. And that's hit into right center field. And that one is gone. So second home run of the tournament for Erika Piancastelli. She's already hit one into left field now, another one into right field. So that brings in two runs for Team Italy. Nice shot by Erika Piancastelli. So six runs batted in for her at this tournament. It was the third hit. Two of those hits were home runs. Batting next, Marta Gasparotto, number 19, who's playing shortstop. Batting three for eight at the tournament with a triple and four runs batted in. And the first pitch to her missed upstairs. And Maslova with the 1 0 pitch. Curve outside. 2 0. Two-o delivery, low and inside. And that one is fouled away, so Gasparotta. Barotto is given the green light with the count 3-0, and oh, now 3-1, and one, so still hit a scout on the Italian cleanup batter. Now the 3-1 delivery from Maslova, and that's hit up the middle. That'll be a base hit. Good job by the Italian shortstop getting that base hit with one down. That will bring up number 14, Julia Longhi. She's batting three for 10. Struck out once. And the Russian coach stepping onto the diamond to talk to her team. I believe that will be Maria Kazantseva. I'm not sure. It might be Ludmila Kiznik. Izik or Alexandra Savarsova. And that will be it for Maslova. So coming in in relief of her will be number two, Nina Zakaznikova. 
take her warm up pitches now. Right handed pitcher. And that is Julia Longi. Taking warm up pitchers, getting the timing of the new pitcher in the game, Zakaznikova. We're in the bottom of the first inning. Team Italy are up by two runs, courtesy of a two run shot by Erika Piancastelli, her second of the tournament. Marta Gasporotto, single into center field after that. And that was it for Maslova. So the new pitcher, Nina Zakaznikova, about to face Giulia Longhi, the Italian third base woman. ball again and Zakaznikova with the first pitch and that's fouled away by Julia Longhi <laughs> oh and one Zakaznikova with the pitch swing and a miss by Julia Longhi very aggress aggressive in this at bat. Two swings already to count. 0 oh and 2 with a runner on first, one away in the bottom of first. And Zakaznikova with the 0 2 offering. And that's hit on the ground to short. They go to second to get the force. Two away. Next up, Chiara Bassi. The second baseman, she's batting three for five. She scored a run, struck out once, and uh, she was caught stealing. There she is, number two, she had a bussy. Late swing sends that one foul. pitch her eyes ball up and away seemed like a pitch out as the catcher got got up quite quickly ready to make the throw to second if necessary should the runner decide to steal now the one and one and that's fouled away the runner on first now is Julia Longhi of uh, forced out at second. Now the one and two. Another high pitch out of the zone. Two and two now with two down. pitch and that one will get all the way to the net a late throw to second and that gets away and Julia Longhi is running for third and she'll be safe the count now full on Chiara Bassi three and two He's got the runner on. So now a 3-2 delivery. Swung on and missed. Good speed on that pitch. Coming in from Zakaznikova. So in the bottom of first, Team Italy draw first blood, scoring two runs off of that two-run home run by Erika Biancastelli. We'll be back for the top of the second inning after this.
Bro TV, live broadcasting. Welcome back to Hopedorp. Ladies and gentlemen, we already started the second inning of game number 10 of WBSC Europe 2018 Super 6 baseball and softball tournament. This is obviously the softball part of the event. First three batters for Team Russia in the top of second are going to be Evgenia Yegezarova, Olga Yakovleva, and Virginia Kusakova. Yegezarova, the right handed batter, ready to step into the batter's box. After two days of play, she was batting one for five. And that pitch gets the call outside. Good framing job by the Italian catcher. This morning, morning game against Greece. Sigazova went one for three with three runs batted in. And now she fouls one out of the park. Count now 0 and 2. And a good drop ball by Chiquetti missed downstairs. two delivery another drop ball swung on and missed by Higazarova that is strikeout number three in this game so far for the Italian hurler Greta Cecchetti facing her next is going to be designated player number 17 Olga Yakovleva batting left handed Two days of play, she went 0 for 1. Take a look if she played against Greece. First pitch to her, an off speed drop ball, missed downstairs. And indeed, Yakovlev was the designated player against uh, Greece. Went 1 for 4, struck out once. 1 and 0 the count on her now. Drop ball in the zone for a call strike 1. So the count now one and one with one down. Another drop ball swung on and missed by Yakovleva. The count one and two. And Cecchetti with the delivery. And another drop ball swung on and missed. Two down. Next up, number 16, Virginia Kusakova. He went uh, one for four after two games. That hit being a triple that brought in three runs. So she's got three runs batted in. This morning she went four for four. Now, bunt attempt missed for a call strike one. Indeed, Gusakova, four at bats, four hits, one run, one run batted in, one stolen base. So she definitely had a very good game this morning against Greece. Count on her now, 0 and 2. Swing and a miss. Another great drop ball by Cecchetti. So in the top of the second inning, Russia got nothing across, and no hits, no errors, no runners left on base. And we'll be going to the bottom of second with Team Italy leading it by two runs. And if we have a look at the history of uh, Women's European Championships. The very first championship was held in 1979 in uh, 
Italy, with Italy taking silver at that event. Actually, Italy took silver at the four first years of the European Championship. This is the situation from the bottom of first. That was uh, Laura Vigna. This is a home run by Pian Castelli. There she is getting congratulated by her teammates on her second home run of the tournament. And this will be Gasparotto with a single to center field. And that was it for Maslova. Then there was a pitching change. Pitching now is Zakaznikova. The Italians got their first European Championship title in 1986. In Antwerp, Belgium. They also won it in 1992 in Bussum, the Netherlands. Then in Settimo Torinese in 95. 97 in Prague. So that makes it three in a row. Their fourth in a row came in 1999 in Antwerp. Fifth in the row, 2001 in Prague, 2003 in Italy again, 2005 in Prague, another championship title, 2007 Amsterdam, again Italy winning it, and uh, I already mentioned their last championship title came in 2015, but let's get back to the game as Zakaznikova deals the first pitch to Elisa Princic. The pitch gets the call for strike one. And that one's popped up. And under it comes the shortstop to make the catch. One away. Batting now, number 15, Ele Elena Chiesa, the catcher. That's her first at bat of the tournament, I believe. And her first swing. 0 and 1. And Zakaznikova with the 0 1 offering that missed up and away. pitch again up and away two and one two balls and one strike Zakaznikova with the pitch and that one's hit into left field and that will be dropped and the ball rolls all the way to the wall and the Italian catcher is safe at third. He didn't even have to slide. She sent one deep into left field. The left fielder made contact with the ball, but couldn't hold on to it. That was Tatiana Belchikova, who's playing in left field for Team Russia. Uh, the official scoring on that play is triple. One down, and now batting Alessandra Rotondo, number three, the designated player. First pitch outside, slap, slap hit foul. Alessandra Rotondo batting three for eight, two runs batted in for the tournament. Zakaznikova with the 0 and 1. And, uh, Rotonda showed bind, but it wasn't a squeeze play situation as the runner from third wasn't going straight home. 1 and 1 now on uh, Alessandra Rotondo. 
Left-handed batter, Zakaznikova with the pitch. And a rise ball way upstairs. Two and one. Chiesa, the runner on at third. Two and one the count, one away. Zakaznikova with the pitch. That one missed outside. Three balls and one strike. Hitters count now for the number nine batter for Team Italy in this game. And now the 3 1 offering hit foul. Count. The payoff pitch by Zakaznikova. And slap hit on the ground to short. And the throw home. Not in time. That's run number three. So, Team Italy score another run. And we'll be going back to the top of the lineup. And that will be Susanna Soldi. And we're looking at the play again. And you can see that the throw didn't go in the right place. Now a stolen base for Alessandra Rotonda. A good aggressive base running by Team Italy now. They're putting pressure on their opponents. Susanna Soli, the count on her 1 0. She struck out her first time up, but she only saw two pitches. And the rise ball missed upstairs, and then the throw from the catcher hit the pitcher on the elbow or somewhere, but she seems fine. And you might notice that Italians are relaying signs from second base. the 2-0 and the low drop ball gets the call 2-1 and, and one strike and the bunt and, and that won't be picked up by anyone and the bear the runner is going for second and no play there. So three fielders were charging towards the ball and nobody picked it up. So Team Italy now have two runners in scoring position, positions on at second and third. And the batter is Fabrizia Marrone, number four. And Zakaznikova with the pitch. Swing and a miss by Marone. And we're going to have a look at the. No. One down. 0 oh and 1. And a bunt attempt. Ball is hit foul. 0-2 oh, the count now. Fabrizia Marone drew a walk and then scored a run courtesy of the two-run shot by Pian Castelli, who's in the on-deck circle now. The count on Marone, 0-2, oh, Zakaznikova with the offering, and that's slap hit foul. Owen to the count on the Italian right fielder. He's batting two for five for the tournament. Owen two and now 
Zakaznikova with the pitch. And that's slap hit foul again. No balls, two strikes as the home plate umpire, Bob Piskins, got a couple of new balls as a few of them have been fouled out of play. 0-2. Zakaznikova with the offering to Marone. Here it comes. And a slap hit to third. And a tag attempt. And a bit of hesitation on the part of the third base umpire, but eventually the call is out at third. So, fearless choice. Good job by Narin Stepanian. Two down, now batting, Erika Biancastelli. She takes one in the zone for a called strike one. She's being patient. In the first at bat, she saw the starting pitcher, so now she had a look at a pitch from the reliever, and now she's ready for the 0-1 offering. And she drives one into the gap in right center field, and that will score one and two and Pian Castelli with the two out two RBI stand up triple so four RBIs in the game so far for Pian Castelli eight for the tournament Team Italy are now up by five runs as number 19 and Marta Gasparotto ste steps into the batter's box she singled up the middle to center field her first time up and the first pitch to her drop ball missed downstairs one and oh and Zakaznikova with the pitch good pitch inside sitting on the corner of the strike zone one and one Marta Gasparotto, she was batting three for eight before the game. So it's four for nine now for her. And that one will get away from a catcher, a pass ball that will score. Erika Piancastelli, so that was run number six for Team Italy. The count on Gasparotto, two and one. And Nina Zakaznikova with the pitch, and that fouled into the net. Two and two now. Two down, no runners on. This is the bottom, of the second inning. And now Zakaznikova with the two-two pitch. A good rise ball swung on and missed by Gasparotto. So, Team Italy strike again in the bottom of the second inning. They score four runs on three hits, no errors, none left on base. So, after two complete, Italy six, Russia nothing. We'll be back with more after this. Welcome back to Hochdorp. Ladies and gentlemen, where we're about to start the top part of the third inning of game number 10 of the Super 6 tournament. Scheduled to bat in this part of the game for Team Russia will be 
Verekina, Zakaznikova and Stepanian. Pitching for Italy is uh, Greta Cicchetti, who retired the first six batters that she saw. She struck out five of them, induced one grounder. So now batting the shortstop, Paulina Verekina. And a bunt attempt, good drop ball by Cicchetti. 0-1. Oh the Italian infielders are pulled in, expecting the bunt. Now the 0-1 oh pitch, slap hit, ends up foul, 0-2. Oh Owen to Varekina batting one for six for the tournament and now she swings at a very high rise ball. That's strikeout number six for Greta Cicchetti. Next up, the pitcher, Nina Zakaznikova. And better good curve for strike one. Kaznikova going 0 for 1. Now she swings at a low drop ball and drops her bat. No balls and two strikes. One away, no runners on. This is the top of the third inning. Cicchetti with the offering. That one missed, low and away. One and two the count now. As Greta Cicchetti gets ready for the one two offering. Curve ball outside, or maybe a rise ball that got flat that didn't really rise the way it was supposed to. Two balls and two strikes. Chikadi gets the sign and she's ready for the pitch. And another drop ball swung on and missed. That would be strikeout number seven, I believe. Batting next, the third baseman. Narin Stepanian, number 13, batting one for five for the tournament, struck out three times. That is for the first two days of play. Now she pops one up into center field. Under it comes Susanna Soli to make the catch, and that will retire the side. So Cicchetti retired. First nine batters that she saw. And we'll be going to the bottom of third. Slates it to bat for Italy are Julia Longhi, Chiara Bassi, and Elisa Princic. Look at some of the replays. That was an attempt at a diving catch by the Russian left fielder, Tatiana Belkikova. That one was hit quite deep by Elena Chiesa. Stolen base by Rotondo. Triple by Erika Piancastelli. She's got a homer and a triple in this game. So leading things off for Team Italy, number 14, Julia Longhi.
the Alonghi grounded out her first time up. That one's it foul and into the backstop. 0 and 1. Now Zakas Nikola with the 0 and 1 going outside. 1 and 1 the count now. Count one and one. That's fouled away. One ball and uh, two strikes on Julia Longhi, the Italian third base woman. She's batting three for 11 for the tournament. Way outside. Two balls and two strikes. A quick look at what's going on on the baseball field. Spain are playing against Germany. They li they're leading five to one in the bottom of fourth. Now that one's popped up. Under it comes the second baseman to make the catch. That was Tatiana Zhukova. One away. Next up, Kiara Bassi. She struck out the first time up. Rise ball up and away. One and oh. Zakaznikova ready with a 1 0 offering. That one's fouled out of play. Going into the game, Bassi was batting 3 for 5, 3 for 6 now, still a pretty good batting average. Here on day 3 of the 2018 Super 6, and that one will fall into. Shallow left field for a base hit. Four for seven now is Bussy. Next up, number eight, Elisa Princic. She was batting one for eight going into this game. She hit a fly out the first time up. Now she Laid off of that one. One down. Princic gets the sign from the third base coach. The count on her, 1-0. and oh. Betting right-handed facing Zakaznikova. Now the pitch swung on and missed. 1-1. One and one. delivery and that's bunted foul one ball and two strikes and as you can see we're getting a bit of sunshine here and Hope Dorp it's not as windy as it was yesterday or two days ago swing and a miss Princic goes down swinging. That was out number two. Batting next, number 15, Elena Chiesa. One for one in the game. She hit a triple. And that was her first at bat of the tournament. So she's batting one for one. One for one in the tournament as well. And now she pops one up and well out of play. Team Italy have a runner on at first. 
That is Giarabasi. 0-1, Zakas Mikoiva with the delivery. Rise ball missed upstairs. One ball, one strike, two away. Zakas Nikova with the offering and the runners taking off. And that will be a stolen base and now she's going for third. And she's safe there as well. Good hustle by Kiara Bassi. Second base woman. Slid into second head first. As the ball ended up in the outfield. There she is lying on the ground. And now she's going for third. And another slide. And now that one's popped up into shallow right center field. Somebody gonna call the ball. No one did. And then the throw to the catcher. So Elena Chiesa now, the runner on at second. She's the catcher, so we'll see if they put in a temporary runner. And two outfielders running for the ball, none of them called it, which is why it dropped on the ground. Sandra Rotondo, the designated player. Rotondo. 0 for 1 with an RBI today. He stole a base. Did put a temporary runner on. Go pitch outside. Or called strike two. And now Zakaznikova with the 0 2 offering. And that's. Slap hit up in the air, a pop-up caught at short by Polina Varekina. So in the bottom of third, Team Italy score one run on two hits, one error, one left on base. After three complete, Italy seven, Russia nil. We'll be back with more live fastball action here at Playo.tv after a short break. especially from the experience the instructors. If we want to make this sport better and more popular, we need to keep learning from each other. I think we created an international softball friendship. Welcome back to Hovdorp. Sorry to interrupt the invitation to the international training camp. Definitely all more than welcome to sign up for that amazing event. Batting now is Daria Semenova. Swing and a miss on the low drop ball. 
Samanova struck out her first time up. Greta Ciccheri retired the lineup in three innings, nine batters. Now 0-2 on Daria Samanova, who was batting one for seven after two days of play. She went three for five this morning against the Greek side. And another drop ball swung on and missed. And that will be another strikeout for Greta Ciccheri. That was strikeout number eight. Next up, number 19, Tatiana Zhukova. She's playing second. And that one missed inside. One and oh on Zhukova. That one down in the dirt. 2 and 0. Now Chiquetti with the 2 0 delivery. Pitch clocking in at 64 miles per hour. That is about 103 kilometers per hour. Three balls and no strikes as the Italian catcher Elena Chiesa went up to Cicchetti to talk to her. Now the 3-0 delivery from Greta Cicchetti. She sends one into the zone bringing the count to three and one. Now the three one offering. Swung on and missed. Three and two. So Chiquetta, Chiquetti worked her way up. Back from three and oh to three and two and now the payoff pitch. That one's it foul. Another payoff pitch by Cicchetti. Swung on and missed a good rise ball. That would have been strikeout number nine. That will bring up number player number five, the left fielder, Tatiana Beltikova, who is batting two for six after two games. She went two for four this morning against Greece. There's Beltikova. Betting right-handed. Right and the first drop ball gets the call. All in one. That one missed low and inside. One and one. And Chiquetti with the pitch. That's hit on the ground. Foul. As the ball rolls all the way up to the outfield. One ball and two strikes with two down here in the top of the fourth inning. Team Italy leading by a score of seven to nothing. Now the one-two pitch, and that will be a base hit into left center field for Tatiana Beltikova. So there goes the perfect game and the no-hitter. Good job by the Russian left fielder. Sends a sharp line drive into left center field for a base hit. Next up with two down and the runner on at first. That is Yevgenia Diegazarova. Batted one for five. 
And a good curve to open the count. Yagyazarova went one for three this morning against Greece with a double that brought in two runs for Team Russia. And Chiketti with the 0 and 1. Clocking in again at 64 miles per hour. So they said it's about 103 kilometers per hour. Chiketti with the pitch. Good pitch off speed, that's 47 miles per hour. So a good spread between the changeup and the fastball. A difference of about 25 kilometers per hour, even more. That's pretty good. Now one and two. That missed low and inside. Two and two now. Two out, two balls, and two strikes. Cecchetti with the pitch. And another change up. Ground it to Julia Longhi. The throw to Erika Piancastelli for out number three. So in the top of the fourth, the fourth inning, Team Russia got their first hit. Courtesy of uh, Tatiana Beltikova. Uh, they score no runs. We'll be going to the bottom of fourth. Team Italy leading by seven runs. Score seven to nothing. And we've already had a look at uh, the history of the results at uh, the Women's European Championship for Team Italy. We have won that European competition a number of times. Let's have a look at Team Russia's history when it comes to this tournament. They made their first appearance in uh, 1992 in Busum, the Netherlands. Finished last. And they didn't make an appearance in 1995. Came again in 1997. That was in Prague. They won Pool B, which means that they advanced to Pool A. And in 1999, in Antwerp, they finished third. So bronze medals for the Russian side in 1999. They took silver in 2003 in Italy. Took bronze again in 2007 in Amsterdam. And that, I believe, will have been the last medals for Team Russia. We've been part of the top six teams in Europe for quite some time now. Behind of me yapping, we're already playing again. Batting is Susanna Soldi, who came in to replace uh, Laura Vigna after she was hit by pitch. With her hand or wrist. 2 0 the count on her as she fouls that one away and out of play. Soldi batting one for one. With a run, she did strike out in the first at bat, but she only saw two pitches. She came in with the count two and two. Count on her now. Two and one, Zakaznikova with the pitch outside for a called strike number two. Two balls and two strikes. And Zakaznikova with the offering. And that's hit towards short. And the throw to first in time for out number one. Good defensive play by the Russian shortstop. That is Paulina Varekina. Yeah, pitch outside, send it the other way. It one hopped to 
Short start. Throw was a bit wild now. A bunt will roll foul. Throw to first was not perfect. Which meant that the first base woman, uh, Yana Islamova, to get off the bag, but she still managed to ba get back onto the bag before Soldi reached first. And now Fabrizia Marone, number four. And a slap hit, caught in the 5-6 hole by the shortstop and a bad throw to first. And that will allow Marone to get all the way to second. And I think that the shortstop should have held on to the ball now. There was no play at first. I mean, good job by her, by the shortstop, making sure the ball didn't get all the way into the outfield. But that throw was unnecessary and uh, it allowed the by the runner to get to second. Good slap hit. And you can see, I mean, that would have been impossible for pretty much any player to get the out. And now in the batter's box is number 20. Eric Capian Castelli with a home run and a triple already in this game. Four runs batted in so far for the Italian slugger, 0-1, Zakaznikova deals one, low and away. Count 1-1. One one. Now Zakaznikova with the 1-1 one, one pitch, low and away. And with first base open, they're definitely gonna try and pitch around the zone to Pian Castelli. And a hard swing by the Italian first baseman. Brings the count to two and two. Two balls and two strikes. Nina Zakaznikova with the delivery and they go outside. A good pitch with the count. Now three and two. Full count. One down, the runner on at second and the pitch to Pian Castelli. Missed up and away. So a walk given up by Zakaznikova will and that will bring up the shortstop, Marta Gasparotto. One down, two runners on. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning with the Italian side leading by four runs. And that's popped up to short. It's an infield fly. Ball made both by Bob Hiskins and uh, Arian De Wever. Next up, Julia Longhi, number 14. Two down, two runners on. And Zakaznikova with the pitch. And the rise ball missed upstairs. One and zero on Julia Longhi, and that will find the five-six hole, and they will wave in the runner, and she will score. Bianca Stilli sliding into third safely. So that was run number eight for Team Italy, who now have the game-winning and game-ending run on at second. Batting next, number two. Chiara Bassi, now we're looking at the situation again. Single to left, and now the throw to third. And it was a close play, but Bian Castelli was safe.
First pitch to Bussy missed upstairs. One and oh. And Zakaznikov while ready to deal. A rise ball missed upstairs. Good speed on that pitch from uh, the Russian pitcher Nina Zakaznikova, who came in uh, in the first inning to relieve Yulia Maslova, who had already pitched 82 pitches in the morning game against Greece. 2 0 now. A late swing and a pop up. And the ball is caught in flight in foul territory by the first baseman, Yana Islamova. So, Italians, the Italians score another run in the bottom of first. The score now, Italy eight, Russia nothing. And we'll be back for top of the fifth inning after a short break. Welcome back to Hogdor, folks, for the top part of the fifth inning. It's do or die now for the Russian team who need to score at least two runs to force the bottom of fifth. Leading things off is number 12. That's Yana Islamova, so she'll be batting instead of Designated player, I guess now. Now she swings that one down in the dirt. Now one and two the count. Virginia Gusakova in the on-deck circle and uh, Paulina Varekina in the hole. Now the one-two pitch. Great change up in the zone. Swung on and missed. That one clocked in at 45 miles per hour. So that's even slower than that previous change up. That's about 72.4 kilometers per hour and uh, with Chiquetti being able to throw around 103, 105 with her eyes, drop or fastball, the spread is quite significant. Batting now, Gusakova, drop ball outside, swung on and missed. 0 and 1. And Chiquetti with the 0 1 offering, and that one's hit back at her. And uh, the ball picked up by the second baseman, Bassi. But the throw to first was pretty late. I think this will be scored as a hit. And indeed, as it was right back at the pitcher. So the second hit of the game for the Russian team. Batting next, the shortstop, number four, Polina Varaikina. There she is, batting left-handed. And the runners taking off the bunt the throw to first for the out and to third for another out. And that's the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. After about an hour of and 25 minutes of play, Team Italy win it by a score of eight to nothing. A nice bunt and steal situation. 
but good defense by the Italians. It was the catcher covering third. After that bunt was picked up by the third baseman. So good backup. We'll have another look at that. The runner, I think she left a bit early, but there was no call. And now one throw to first and to third. Game ending double play. So Italy win it by an eight run difference after five innings of play. So a five inning shutout for Greta Cecchetti. 10 strikeouts, two hits allowed, over five innings of work. Pian Castelli hit a home run and a triple. So quite an interesting ball game to watch. And there's one more game scheduled for today. It's gonna start at six o'clock as the Netherlands against Great Britain. In the meantime, feel free to change the channel to watch the baseball action that's going on on the baseball diamond. It's Spain versus Germany. They're in the sixth inning, so that should give you something to watch before we report back to you again from Hofdorp for the last game of today's schedule. So thanks for watching and goodbye. Leo TV, live broadcasting.